27th Man is a new play that is um, uh, inspired very loosely by a very dark chapter in 20th century Jewish history that's not terribly well known. In 1952, Stalin rounded up the greatest writers in Yiddish in the Soviet Union. Actually, they had been arrested some years before, jailed them, uh, put them on a kind of a sham trial, accused them of being subversive, and executed them, basically wiping out what had been one of the greatest flowerings of Yiddish, Yiddish culture anywhere in the world. One of them is a sympathizer with the regime who refuses to believe that the worst is going to happen. And one of them is a mysterious boy, the 27th man. There are 26 who are rounded up, of whom we meet three. And a 27th arrives, and we don't know who he is. And unraveling the mystery of this young man's identity is the, is the action of the play. The thing about Nathan's work is that he follows a long line of writers who are who write in a particular kind of tradition. So if you would take Shalom Aleichem or Peretz or any of those guys and you'd move them to this century or this decade, their voices would sound like they came from the same street with a literacy and an elegance and a music that we would be able to understand today. It's a very beautiful, although very harrowing, story that, um, that, that really uh, somehow manages to be both warm and funny and also really um, sort of sobering at the same time. The music of it, the sounds of it, the smells of it as he writes and as one reads is so profoundly beautiful if one has that in one's soul, I think. And one doesn't have to come from, you know, the, the Jewish world. I mean, one can be from any ethnic world and relate to it because it's so incredibly feeling and moving. Most importantly, what, what's happening here is one of the great voices in American letters is moving into an entirely new realm. It's a risky thing to do, it's a daring thing to do, and it's really hard to think of another theater where something like that would be as natural as it is at the public. Mm -hmm.